Stedman's car is still up on jack stands in pit lane as the race is underway, and it is Skip McCord to the point. Mark Day with the big move early, taking advantage of that outside line he loves so much. Now moving to the inside to get past Jeff Higdon to take over second. This after starting in eighth spot. Day looking for his first heat race win of the year. Willie Allen now looking underneath Higdon to try to take over the third spot. Two laps complete. As Larry mentioned earlier, though this is only a heat race, every point counts, and heat races do count for points. Day and Allen very hotly embattled in the Operation Big Chance points. Those are the two that are definitely going at it. Here comes Day taking a look underneath McCord, trying for the lead as they go through the south end of the track. Day pushes up a little bit. McCord opens the door, is going to let Willie Allen through as well. Day and Allen out in front. That's a sight you've seen pretty much all year in this division. And Allen already looking for the lead. Gets a good look down low. Half distance this time by. Crossed flag shown by Gary Davis up there in the dollar, rather the WSM Nashville's country legend flag stand. Here it comes. Another good look to the inside by Allen as they came off of two. Day is very strong. McCord continues to run third. Michael Driscoll is fourth. Jason Petrino fifth. Josh Weston runs in sixth. Daniel Pope seventh. Jeff Higdon disappointing eighth right now. Nick Howell is ninth. And a pass for the lead on going. Oh, and he was twitchy doing it too. Still is. Day just would not back out of it. Finally let him by, and Day has got some problems apparently on his number eight. Damage to the back end of the 103, possible damage to the front end of the eight. Allen got very loose as he went through four, and there is some serious front end damage on Mark Day's Bywiser number eight. He's dropped back to fourth. He's going to lose some more positions. That damage right in the area that would certainly cause arrow push through the turn. White flag is out. Willie Allen, bodywork flapping in the rear. Got himself a good lead over Michael Driscoll up to second. Good run for Driscoll after a bad week last week. And here's the checkered flag. The Bonacqua bullet, Willie Allen brings home his second heat race of the win of the year. Michael Driscoll. Heat race, a lot of action out there just for a heat race, huh? Yeah, it's exciting. We just trying to get a good position for the feature. Uh, hope we can go back and repair our car a little bit and get a little bit better and see where we come out. All right, man, Round two. Underway, a lot of these cars, several of them, in fact, didn't have a whole lot of practice. The number 22, the number 57, didn't have any practice at all, in fact. First lap complete of 10, veteran Todd Morris out in front. Keaton Hanks runs in second, Mandy Moore. Looking good in third so far. Les Howell runs in fourth after starting well back in the field. Then a big wad behind Lindsey Daniels. Joseph Meyer, Roger Roos, the number 47 of Pete Hughes, Stevie Weavy Pendergrass, Josh Adams back in the number 37, Robert Lovett in the 20. Here comes the battle for the lead into turn three. Side by side into four. The young man from Auburn, Kentucky, gonna lead the lap. Keaton Hanks won his first ever Race in a late model last weekend here at the Plex. Won one of the heat races. Looks like he's on his way possibly to winning a second one. 
Morris strong on the outside, though. Hanks finally gets clear of Morris. Battle now is for third. Mandy Moore and the number 91 of Les Howell side by side. Mandy looking really good so far. Held that high line very well, but Howell has gone by for third. Winston Patton slow on the back stretch in the number 57. Six laps complete. Keaton Hanks still your leader. Todd Morris second. Les Howell is third. Mandy Morris fourth. Lindsey Daniels fifth. Roger Roos runs in sixth. Seventh and challenging on the outside, Stevie Pendergrass. Pete Hughes runs in eighth, ninth, Joseph Meyer. Josh the Kid Adams rounds out the top ten. Low in the turn two, we have a couple of cars around, Roger Roos and Lindsey Daniels. I see a full moon rising over turn two. That could make for interesting evening as the green flag is displayed again. And Keaton Hanks very slow on the trigger. That could cost him. Les Howell comes from the inside of row two and has taken the lead. And with only two laps to go, he may well steal this race. Hanks not giving up yet. Got his nose right on the back bumper of the 91. Here he comes. Keaton Hanks on the far inside with the white flag out. Down into the south end of the track. Who's it going to be? Into two. He's got the nose. There, door handle to door handle down the back straightaway. Into three. Keaton Hanks edges out in front. It will be Keaton Hanks taking the win in the second heat race. Wow. Les Howell second. Todd Morris ends up in third. Weavy Pendergrass comes home in fourth. Mandy Moore. Jim, I got Keaton Hanks down here, our uh, winner of our second heat race tonight in the uh, late models. And, brother, I'll tell you what, last couple of weeks, you really had it coming on. Congratulations to you. I appreciate it. Um, we had a really good car um, all day, and uh, I messed up there and missed a shift again. I just can't Second row, the number 90 of Keaton Hanks and Willie Allen in the 103, second place man in points. On the front row, Michael Driscoll and pole setter Les Howell. All eyes on the flag stand. Gary Davis shows the green. The Nashville Palace 50 is underway. Bad start for Les Howell. Michael Driscoll to the point in the Beeman Pontiac and cars into the wall on the back straightaway. A wheel loose. Uh. It's not going to lose a lap because we didn't get any laps. So, actually, this was a break for the 7-Eleven Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS of Stedman Marlin out of Columbia, Tennessee. Broke a rocker arm during practice, so they got the motor back together and in the race. And we're getting started again. No laps officially complete. Les Howell with a much better start this time around. Let's see if they can all get through turn two. Safely out of two down the back straightaway. Les Howell is going to lead the first lap this time. He was ready for it. Now it is Willie Allen who is on the charge. He's got Keaton Hanks right behind him. Allen up to second. Hanks and Driscoll do out for third. Skip McCord. Right behind them in fifth, Todd Morris sixth, Daniel Pope seventh, Mark Day already up to the eighth spot after starting tenth. 
and looking to the outside of Pope to try to take over seventh. Mark Day in that patented high groove he loves so much will take the spot from the young man from Smyrna. Battle for the lead already heating up. Les Howell already under pressure from Willie Allen. And look at Keaton Hanks, looking really strong already in the number 90. Slow on the track, Winston Patton in the number 57. Again, that car with very little practice. He's gonna bring it down towards pit road. Allen. Looking high, looking low. Ducks underneath the number 91. He's got the nose. He's got the fender. Approaching a lap car. That's Ray Rowland in the 31 up in front of him. Allen will lead the lap three abreast briefly into turn one. On the back straightaway, coming up to lap John Taylor's number 22. Give the lead to Willie Allen on lap number six. Keaton Hanks trying to move up to take the second spot. He does so. Howell back to third. Driscoll fourth. McCord closing in in fifth. Shower of sparks off the number 22, John Taylor, as he goes a lap down. The Nashville Palace 50 just eight laps in, and already it has been a very entertaining race. Leaders coming up to lap a couple of cars. The number 20, Robert Lovett out of Drummond's, Tennessee. And Joseph Meyer making his first ever start in a late model, I believe, in the number 211. That'll look like number 21. Here they come. Willie Allen thought about making it three abreast, still thinking about it. And they are stuck behind him. They <laughs> go three abreast, and Allen threads his way through. Wow. Wow. Joseph Meyer gets out of the way, doesn't want any part of that. And Keaton Hanks showing a lot of savvy for a youngster. Former National Legends Pro Division champion. Young man out of Auburn, Kentucky, putting the pressure on the second place man in points, looking for the lead. Progress report on Mark Day. He has just moved into sixth at the expense of fellow Clarksville resident Todd Morris. Skip McCord up in front of him. Battle for the lead, still a good one. Keaton Hanks with the nose inside the 103 KDF machine of Willie Allen. Hanks has got the move. He's got the position as they head into one. Can he make it stick? The one place Allen has been vulnerable is on the inside. He does not like running high. Hanks stuck like glue to that inside groove will lead lap number 14. Allen hanging tough, will slot himself back in a second as Mark Day gets past the number nine of Skip McCord to take fifth. Your leaders go around the number 31 of Ray Rowland to put him a second lap down. Ditto for Ro John Taylor in the number 22. And Keaton Hanks has pulled himself out about a seven car length lead over Willie Allen. Michael Driscoll has got himself well up into third. Les Howell is back to fourth. Mark Day in fifth and looking at the back end of Howell. Back in sixth, Todd Morris seventh is Skip McCord. Running in eighth, Daniel Pope ninth. Good run so far for Jason Petrino. The kid, Josh Adams, a top 10 run so far. Right behind him though, 
Weavy Pendergrass knocking on the door. Here comes the battle for fourth. Mark Day looking underneath the number 91 of Les Howell. The man from Tuscumbia gives way. Put Day up to fourth. Day two positions behind Willie Allen, his nemesis in the points, both for the late models and for the Operation Big Chance. Allen does not look like he had the edge that he had earlier. Keaton Hanks, super strong out in front. 19 laps complete this time by 31 to go. It is still early. Looking further back in the field, running in 12th is Roger Roos. 13th, Jeff Higdon. 14th is Nick Howell. 15th. Good progress through the field so far for Stedman Marlin in the 7-Eleven. Running in 16th unofficially, the 47 of Pete Hughes still on the lead lap. A lap down in 17th, the 22 of Taylor. The number 31 of Ray Rowland. And the number 21 of Joseph Meyer. And Keaton Hanks is just checking out on the field. He's got three seconds in hand right now over Willie Allen. Allen has about one car length between himself and the number 86 of Michael Driscoll. And Mark Day has so far been unable to bring up any of the margin between himself and Driscoll. Keaton Hanks so far a man on a mission Looking for his first ever late model win. Boy, anxious moment for Joseph Meyer there in his haste to get out of the way of the leaders as they came by. Looked like he almost lost control on the back straightaway. And look at Stedman Marlin. Has moved himself up another two spots. He's in 13th. Having just dispatched Nick Howell in the 19 and Jeff Higdon in the 0-4. All we need is a yellow flag, and Stedman is right back in this race. The number 20 of Robert Lovett comes into the attention of his pit crew as Gary Davis prepares to give the field the halfway signal, 25 laps in of this Nashville Palace 50. Great wad of cars from seventh on back. You've got Skip McCord back there, Daniel Pope, Jason Petrino, Pete Hughes. Weavy Pendergrass is there. And the number 97 of Josh Weston has returned to the racetrack. Every position important for Weston, he was seventh place man in points. You gotta be impressed with the number 90 of Keaton Hanks. He has got a full straightaway advantage over the rest of the field. Just absolutely motoring away from Willie Allen in the 103. There have been two cars at the Music City Motorplex in the late model division who have just absolutely dominated so far. And that is the 103 of Allen and the number eight of Mark Day. And right now, neither one of them Look like they are posed to mount any kind of a challenge to Keaton Hanks, barring a yellow flag. Of course, anything can happen. There are still 21 laps to go, 20 this time by. Hanks coming up the lap, a great mass of traffic. The number 20 of Lovett, who's already been in the pits once. Ray Rowland, I believe this will be number three for lapping for him. Ditto for the number 22 of John Taylor. Hanks moves to the outside to pass those two cars. He's got four more just ahead of him. Josh Weston in the 97, Nick Howell in the 19, Joseph Meyer in the 21, and Jeff Higdon. Meanwhile, Stedman Marlin continues to make progress. 
He's just moved himself up into the top 12. In fact, as we work lap 32, let's give you a full field rundown as far back as we can give them. Your leader, still the number 90 of Keaton Hanks. Second place, the 103 of Willie Allen. Third, Michael Driscoll. Fourth, Mark Day. Fifth, the number 91 of Les Howell. Sixth, Skip McCord. Seventh, Todd Morris. Eighth, Daniel Pope. Ninth, Jason Petrino. Tenth is Weavy Pendergrass. Running 11th, Josh Adams. In 12th, Stedman Marlin. 13th, Roger Roos. 14th, Pete Hughes. 15th, Jeff Higdon. The last car on the lead lap as here comes the number 90 of Keaton Hanks to put Higdon a lap down. Running in 15th, a lap down, Nick Howell. And that's about as far back as we can give him to you right now. Everybody else is at least one and perhaps as many as two and three laps down. Hanks showing exp um, amazing moves through traffic here, putting the lie to the amount of experience that he has in a late model around this track. This young man, more accustomed to a legend, is just absolutely putting a hurt on this late model field. He's got 13 laps to go next time by and has just put the 14th place man, Pete Hughes, one lap down. Best battle on the racetrack, the battle for second. That's about to heat up as Willie Allen continues to get pressure from Michael Driscoll in the 86 and closing in on them. The man who has the most to lose tonight, Mark Day in the number eight, Willie Allen has already won the heat race, and he is two positions ahead of Day. That will make a big difference in points. Todd Morris and Daniel Pope going at it as well. That's for seventh and eighth, and behind them, Jason Petrino and Weavy Pendergrass. Good battle there as well. Pendergrass having a great run in the Goodyear number 21, the first appearance this year. Daniel Pope has gotten around the number 44 of Morris. That will move him into the seventh spot. Morris back to eighth. Battle for ninth as Petrino and Pendergrass go at it. And closing in on them is the number 37 of Josh Adams. Under 10 laps to go. Keaton Hanks spanking this field. He has got almost a half a lap lead over Willie Allen, and Allen has more to worry about than that. He's got Michael Driscoll to his inside as they come up to lap the number 22 of John Taylor. Driscoll with the position as they head down the front straightaway. Three abreast as they head towards one. Allen not looking good up high. Driscoll is strong, trying to take over the second spot. Driscoll, fourth place man in points, trying to move himself up. Coming around to lap the number 47 of Pete Hughes, Driscoll will move into the runner-up spot. And right behind Willie Allen. And already looking for an edge, the number eight, the Scoggin Enterprises Bywiser Chevrolet of Mark Day. They will have five laps to go this time by. As leader Keaton Hanks down the back straightaway draws a beat on Roger Roos. He will go around him on the high side of four. Gary Davis shows him five to go. And Mark Day putting the moves on Willie Allen will take over that third spot as they come down the front straightaway. Four to go this time by. Former Legends driver Keaton Hanks moving in on a former 
Mini Cup driver, Joseph Meyer, is going to slip by on the inside down the back straightaway. Next car that Hanks has to lap, the 711 of Stedman Marlin, running in the 12th spot. Three to go. Every position counts at this point, and we've got a car around that is John Jim coming out of turn four. This is going to be an old time shootout, and here they come. Out of turn four, your leader is Keaton Hanks. Michael Driscoll on his rearview bumper looking for the green flag. Larry and Malcolm said on the race show last week if you can drive a legend, you can drive just about anything. And Keaton Hanks can drive him as well as anybody can. Mark Day was the one that got the big hole shot on that start. Moves up into second. Driscoll on his way backwards as Allen tries to get him on the high side. But Keaton Hanks is pulling away from Mark Day. He will not be denied. White flag this time by Auburn, Kentucky's Keaton Hanks at a track where so many legends have been written He's trying to put a start to his own legend here tonight. A former legend national champion. Looking to put his name in the book with names like Marlon, Waltrip, David Sisko, others, twin checkered flags. Keaton Hanks wins his first ever late model feature at the Music City Motorplex. Unbelievable. Mark Day brings it home in second ahead of Willie Allen, Michael Driscoll comes home in fourth. Skip McCord rounds out the top five. This young man uh, watching race legends down here in Keaton, I'm telling you what, I'm very proud of you, and I know the fans are. You picked up your first win down here at Music City Motorplex in the late model. Uh, very fast out rod tonight. You beat some great cars, man. Congratulations to you. Yeah, we had a real good car all day, but uh, <laughs> I've kind of been having some trouble on the starts and uh, just like in the heat race and kind of, overcame that there and uh, didn't miss one so i'm real proud of that basically more than winning i'm proud that i didn't miss a shit um, but believe it or not this is the first race we've ever even finished here but uh we, it's, been, it's been some real bad luck here so our first finish is a win yeah, you watch you couldn't do any better than that man you've got your name now in the record books with all the greats that's run down here in the late models and uh, tell us a little bit of, real quickly about your sponsors <laughs> I'd like to thank Total Performance Racing Products, Mother's Polishes, Waxes and Cleaners, Simpson Race Products, everybody here to help me, Brian, Chuck, Dad, Mom, my parents, I mean, just, I want to thank everybody. Congratulations to you, ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, National Paddles 50 lap for Keaton. Where so many legends have been written, he's trying to put a start to his own legend here tonight, a former legend national champion. Looking to put his name in the book with names like Marlon, Waltrip, David Sisko, others, twin checkered flags. Keaton Hanks wins his first ever late model feature at the